One second here. Double checking. I think we are good to go. <laughs> yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe you managed to get me to play this. Just making sure my microphone's set up properly because I'm at my dad's, so I brought my microphone with me <laughs> to make sure you don't hear the awful mic that I have here. So, all right, um, let's go. So, how do we play this? I don't know. 100 pencils, jewelers. Get the speed run timer up. I don't have a speed run timer. You want me to speed run this? Ah. Oh. Okay. Um, I do have a speedrun layout, but it's not set up at all. So we're not using that. Um, speedrun timer, speedrun timer. Alright, I think I have one somewhere. I don't know where it is on this PC, though. Um... Alright, uh, let me grab one then. Speedrun.com Don't have to log into my account, do I? No, I don't, because I can't remember my login, because it's been so long since I've used this site. Um, give me one second, I think it should be under... Maybe I'd have to log in. Alright, um, I can't remember where you grabbed the timer from. Um, live split, that's the one I'm looking for, live split. Um, download. Alright. What do you mean can't open? There we go, alright. Think. <laughs> All right, let's try this. All right, I've opened the program. Oh, okay. Why is it there? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, that was hard to see. Um. All right, settings. Let's see, start. It's number pad one. Okay. And then, what's the stop key? <laughs> oh, let me add this, so, add window capture. Sure. Add that, we'll select this, there we go, alright. Make that a little larger. <laughs> Um, I need to add a filter, I believe. I need to do... No. Oh, it's been a while. Ah, oh, here we go. And then it should be... 
color key. Looking for... Right, so I need to change the color of this. Right, so if I press this, it starts it. How do I reset? Okay. So start and stop. <laughs> I've not used this program in forever. Um, Strat is a double tap R when you finish a pencil. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. So that's the start. That's the resplit. <laughs> okay. So that's that. Okay, that's what I want. If I ever have to. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's that. That's that. 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 Um, how do I change the color now? Edit. No. How do I set the color then? Can I change the color? Always custom color. Uh, there we go, I guess that works. And then, what, well, I just put that down here, I guess. Oh boy, my nose is only just playing up on me. All right, hundred pencils. For goodness' sakes. All right. So just make sure that's out of the way. Get my stream up so I can see that. Get this up. All right, so do I just hit start as soon as I hit play? All right, or do I hit do I do I hit start as soon as I hit play, or do I hit start as soon as I start sharpening? What's the speed running rules for this game? <laughs> it sounds so dumb. I'm speed running sharpening pencils. <laughs> Let me add some music, I guess. Hit start as soon as you click play. All right, cool. Let me set, sorry, I just don't usually share on this PC, so I'm just getting everything configured. All right. Why is that not working? Sorry, give me a second. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one, and wait. Why did not hold? Why did I not start the timer? Oh wait, maybe I need to enable Han. Huh. Is it sometimes to enable me? Oh here we go, global keys. Alright, there we go. Alright, three, two, one, play. <laughs> is this all you do is you literally just hold left click? Is there, is there a strategy to this, or do I literally just hold left click? You're, you're actually kidding me. This is so boring. This is terrible. Why did you pay me to play this? Oh my goodness. But you said you double tap R. You can hold right click as well. Oh, yeah. oh lovely. Oh. oh, so entertaining. You are absolutely awful for making me do this. Why? Drillless. Yeah, I can see the drill up there. Oh. Oh, my goodness. 
This is horrible. Who made this a thing? Who honestly was like, I'm gonna make a game where you literally just sharpen pencils. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm going to check the game that you want me to play next time you pay me to play a game. Drillless, yeah, I know, I can see. That drill is... This is going to take me two hours. This is going to take me like two hours to do. I'm not going to be able to do that because I've got to have dinner soon. <sighs> and it's a speedrun. You can't pause during speedruns, can you? Well, I guess I can because I, I don't have any plans on submitting this. Considering how hard I messed up trying to put that pencil in the first time. Oh. I'm not submitting this anyway, so I can just pause, I guess, when I need to. On two pencils. This is horrible. This is the worst thing I could have thought of. Do 50? Alright, I can do 50 probably. <laughs> the pencil shavings clip into each other. 69, we'll see. We'll see what I can get up to. Because <laughs> I, I was looking earlier and I saw someone do a thousand pencils and it took them seven and a half hours. Why is this a thing? Legitimately. Who actually came up with the idea of speedrunning this? Because this is horrible. See for customization. Ah oh, yeah, but then that'll make me lose time, won't it? Why is it... Why is this so... Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Go up. What? Ah, oh, whatever, I don't care about losing fuel charge at this point. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> you donated me money to play this. Why? Is my question. Why did you pay for this. <laughs> this is horrible. I would like to customize something to add on something a little more entertaining. <laughs> it takes longer. <laughs> I still actually like the thing is when I saw this guy, I was like, ha ha ha, that's funny, that's funny. And I sent Jason Wretches on Discord saying, Are you kidding me? You actually want me to play this? And now you want me to speed run this. This was a terrible idea. From now on, I am checking the game before I play it. Not before I say I'm going to play it. You know? Because <laughs> this is the only time I'm ever going to play this. This is awful. There is nothing enjoyable or entertaining about this. There really isn't. Without using the drill. <laughs> Come on, how, J Jason, how long did it take you to do 50 pencils? What? Well, Billy, have you played this as well? How long did it take you guys to get to 50 pencils?
Okay. Well, what time is it? Oh, it is currently 4.20. Uh, what a great time. 4.20 p.m. Hmm. You haven't made it that far. How far have you made it then? What's the most pencils that you've sharpened? <laughs> And you want me to do 50? Why? Why did you even bother with 10 pencils? An hour and 19 minutes for 69, oh boy. See, the thing is, if I had a decent amount of people watching the stream, you know, that this this would be okay. This would basically just be a little bit of entertainment in the background during a chatting stream. But I don't have that many people to talk to. So having a chatting stream really is impossible. The chatting streams I've seen, they actually can be quite enjoyable when there is a few people. But when there isn't that many people, it really makes it difficult to make it enjoyable. For not only the stream, but also for the people watching. <laughs> Which is why you don't really see smaller streamers ever doing well, chatting style streams. Do some advertising. Oh boy. <laughs> advertising what? Oh. Why that click out of the window? God damn it. What? It was... Okay, this is actually BS. Go! It's not even... This is horrible. I've got to fix my stuff now because it clicked me out. There we go. Well, you got into ten, Jason. How many did? How many have you gotten, Billy? How many pencils have you done? Or have you not played the game yet? <laughs> oh my goodness! This is a horrible idea. Oh yeah, 10,000 pencils with what, cheat engine? Or is that with the drill? You gotta remember, I'm doing hardcore, I'm doing a drill, let's run. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally just twirling my mouse around in the air right now. Just floating my mouse around across my desk because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes for making me do this. You know you are. You knew you could take advantage of me. And I'm going to be more cautious in future. I'm going to make sure I check. Because the first thing I realised after I said yes was, oh, please don't be a sexual game, because I will not be able to do that. And I like to uphold my promises. Like, I was told to do a Slender Stream by uh, Bosco and Alex. I did a Slender Stream. Sure, it didn't happen on the Sunday when I originally planned to, because, well, it just didn't work on my computer. Um, I upheld that, and I came out and I did that. I came out with that promise and I completed it. And this one I promised I think a little too much. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Hello Tiki. Welcome to a stream that I really regret doing, but 
I was paid money to, and I don't like to break promises, and I was drunk when I made this promise. And I'm going to be more cautious in future, because I do not want to have a repeat of something like this. <laughs> oh. This is so boring. This is awful. I regret everything. I regret this so much. That's an F. That's a mega F. Can't the way you see on the leaderboards. Oh yeah, thanks Jason. Lovely. Cody, what is this? Uh, a promise that I should not have fulfilled, but I don't like the break promises. So here I am, regretting my decisions. It's sad that this game actually has a speedrunning community. No, the game was free. It's not like one of those indie game pages. I wouldn't even call this a game. I don't know what you would call this. It's like watching paint dry almost. did cost anything, the $15 that I was paid to play this hopefully would cover it. You should play Watching Paint Dry Simulator. I will have to check that game first before I decide to play it. You're not gonna get me anymore. <laughs> You're not gonna catch me off like that anymore. I will check the game first before I play it. To decide whether it is uh, something that I am willing to play. I'm not going to make a promise so far. It has different endings. <laughs> How? How do you have different endings of something such as a paint <laughs> Why? Why do people make such things? Why does that exist? Seriously. Oh, got it in instantly! <laughs> We're making ground up on this speed run! <laughs> <laughs> This is awful. This really is awful. <sighs> I guess the good thing is that technically this is a talking stream, so you could like kind of put this in the background. Or like put this on a second monitor and not focus too much. That's the thing is why I like watching talking streams, because well, I'm here at my dad's at the most, I have one monitor. Which is a good thing that this game is fits a 720p window, so I can read the chat easily while playing the game. But that's why when I'm at my mum's, I usually put a talking stream or a chatting stream or whatever up on as my second monitor and just watch that while playing Minecraft or doing something simple. If it's something like an FPS or whatever or some kind of game I have to focus on, I really can't pay attention or have a talking stream because I'll get too distracted. <laughs> Come on, no, no, come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> you know, I just realized this is such a waste of pencils. Like <laughs> you 
you realistically you'd be wasting so many pencils doing this. Just imagine all the pages you could write. I know. I remember when primary school, what you'd probably go through ten pencils in a year. <laughs> I know I have six people watching, which is the impressive but sad thing about this. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing like that. I think it was like 2025 20, when I did my birthday GDA stream. But. I mean, it's still people watching. Which, I'm glad that people are watching. Because it means my effort is actually worth something right now. But it also makes me consider why. But then again, like I said, it's, it's just a chatting stream. It's something that almost anyone can ch tune into and just not really have to focus on. Which is the good thing, I guess. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to sit up in my chair properly now, but I can't take my hand off the mouse. This is awful. This kind of feels like torture. You're getting a new desk? Oh yeah, Cody, how's, how's your old desk going? I'm surprised it still hasn't fallen apart yet. Is that is that screw still sticking through the top of it? when you From, from when it began to fall apart? <laughs> And if you are, is it going to be an Ikea desk, or is it going to be something else? Because the thing is, Ikea desks are cheap, but they're actually quite durable. I've still had my one here at my dad's, I've had it here for 5-6 years, and it's still, you know, perfectly fine. The desk I have at my mum's is an Ikea desk, the last desk I had at my mum's last place was an Ikea desk. Considering putting my wheel on it, fair enough. I mean, Ikea desks, I used to use a steering wheel with my Ikea desk at my mum's, so... They're, they're, like, they're decent enough to do that. I wouldn't stand on it. I wouldn't stand on any desk, to be honest. You're putting a wheel on it, end of seat. Or, like, yeah. I mean, if you're going to get a new chair, like, you have those premium brands like DX Racer and that, but if you really don't have that kind of budget, grab a hundred, hundred, hundred fifty dollars from chair from Officeworks. My chair at my mum's is an Officeworks chair. I've had it for over a year. Cost me 150 bucks, and it's, it's it's been great. It's been fine. Haven't had any problems with it. Oh, and a seat. Oh, okay, right. Never heard of them. Are they a mainstream brand, or are they like a more one of those like? Decent brands, but not too many people know of them. Personal best. Well, of course, these are my personal bloody best. It's the only time I've ever played this game. That's a mainstream brand? Okay. You're gonna get a proper gaming desk. Fair enough. I mean, my desks that I've had for the past couple of years, they've all been Ikea, they've been great. James's desk is an Ikea desk, that's an Ikea gaming desk, actually. I believe um, Ikea is making more gaming desks, so you should have a look at their website, actually. There might be some new ones on there. I know James bought one, and he said there was a couple on there at the time. Because the thing is, you want something decent because you're going to be using your computer a lot. So, you don't want something that's, you know, cheaply made and going to fall apart. Too pricey, I was going to get one today, but IKEA is packed. Fair enough. I wouldn't mind online. But the thing is, IKEA isn't pricey. IKEA is actually quite cheap. And the reason that the IKEA is so cheap is because you assemble it yourself. You're not paying anyone to assemble it. That's why you see desks and stuff from other places for like an extra $200, $300 because someone was paid to assemble that. While with IKEA desks, that's why they're so cheap because you've got to assemble it yourself. 
But also, buying one of these pre-assembled desks kind of takes the fun out of putting it together as well. <laughs> Just don't ask me about the time I had to disassemble an IKEA desk at, at work or at the pharmacy I work at, because, uh... Well, I said I need a, I need a, I need a screwdriver to undo, undo some of the, um, some of the screws I like to take it apart. They hand me a drill, I was like, well, this is a bit big, I'm not going to be able to get someone. They're like, just try, I'm like, alright. Try to get around a piece of wood. The piece of wood snapped and I cut my hand. Actually, shit, fine. Um, the tiny little mark still, was about three and a half weeks ago. So, come on, yeah. So, there's a tiny little mark, I don't know if it's actually going to scar, I don't think it will. It looks fine anyway. But yeah. Oh uh, yeah, and anyway, cut my hand, I went downstairs, got a fucking band-aid, covered it over, and then got the screwdriver and continued disassembling it and threw it in the bin. Uh, when, to quote a YouTuber I've seen, when building IKEA furniture, revert to your primal state. No, no, it's, you don't need to go primal on it at all, you literally just take the screwdriver, and just screw things together. There's no hammering. Oh, uh, no, even putting the wooden dowels in, they just go in nice. They, there's no, there's no hammering or anything. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that strong at all. And if I can assemble an IKEA desk, anyone can assemble an IKEA desk. <laughs> they're not, they're not that difficult. Plus, IKEA stuff is, it's pretty light. So. And then IKEA stuff comes with all the tools anyway, they, they, apart from a screwdriver, I don't think it comes with a screwdriver, it comes with all the custom tools and stuff that you'll need to assemble the piece of furniture you got, so. Yeah. Oh, my hand. My fingers from holding down the button. Yeah, IKEA stuff is, it's decent. Like, it's not the highest quality of things. But at least you know you're the one who built it. So at least if you can trust your own assembly, you can trust the desk. If you don't trust your own assembly, then <laughs> you might want to go double check some things. But I've, I've assembled a few things. I assembled at my mum's last place, the place before it burned down. I assembled my bed with some help from my mum and that. Assembled my desk at my mum, my mum's last place myself, and then assembled my desk at my mum's current place myself, and then I assembled this desk here at my dad's five, six years ago or something. So yeah, I have about three hundred saves for a desk in case this one isn't done. Mm. Three hundred is more than enough for a IKEA desk. An IKEA desk is probably yeah two hundred, three hundred dollars probably for a decent one. Unless you want one of the gaming ones. The gaming ones, cause Things with the gaming desk, they're, I think they're partnered or sponsored or something with some. I think they're. I mean, yeah, I think they're partnered or sponsored or something with uh, ROG, so that might be why they're a little more expensive. And my desk of mums is not a gaming desk, it's just a regular old desk. You're not limited by in money, but by space, fair enough. I mean, my, my desk of mums is huge, it's super long as well. I need to fit three monitors on it. Only in China, what do you mean only in China? But yeah, the reason why I've got such a long desk at my mum's is because, um, well, of all times someone could have picked the vacuum. Alright, let me just turn my mic game down. Hopefully, it doesn't pick it up too loudly, because I'm terribly sorry of all times the sun could have vacuumed. Oh, the ROG stuff is currently only in China, really? But James is an ROG... Oh, yeah. James is an ROG gaming desk, though, from Ikea. That's the thing. <laughs> Come on. In, in, in. There we go. I'm pretty sure James is the ROG one. Well, it's one of the gaming desks from Ikea. Yeah, have a look on the Ikea website. Because this one has like two cup holders and everything. My room's getting so warm, I need to turn my fan on. But I don't want to blow on the mic and I can't stop the check to make sure it doesn't pick it up. This is torture. 
Jason, you know I'm never gonna let you down for this. This is a horrible idea playing this game. This is the worst thing that you could have told me to play. There were so many other games you could have told me to play. So many other things that you could have gone, oh yeah, let me just send him some money to play. <laughs> this is the most boring thing. Right next to... I haven't looked at that the paint drying simulator, but... <laughs> Honestly, this feels like watching paint dry. It really does. The only part of Get Better that, I guess, makes it a game is the fact that you actually have to interact with it. <sighs> and it doesn't help the fact that the game is only 11 megabytes as well. <laughs> I don't know what this is made in. I have Unity feelings, but to be honest, it, it's most likely Unity that this was made in. I don't remember if I even saw a Unity startup screen now. It's been that long since I fired up the game. That little attention I'm really paying to this game. Oh my goodness. I might actually fall asleep playing this. Possibly. This is awful. Why? Why did you make me do this? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see you playing Mighty Isaac Rebirth. Is that, is that, no that's not the new one is it? Cause it was like a sequel or something to the Mighty of Isaac or whatever that came out. Rebirth is like the DLC or something isn't it? Something telling me that Jason is unfortunately no longer watching the stream. Natalie is busy. Please don't leave me here. I need someone to talk to, otherwise I'm going to actually go insane playing this. And the fact that I got music playing, thankfully, makes it not as bad, but... This is pretty, pretty bloody awful. Oh. The fact that you got me to get a timer and everything for this as well. And the fact that people speed run this is beyond me. Why? Come on, I want in, in. What? It goes green and then doesn't go in. Why? <laughs> what is this? I'll find there we go. My dad just came in. All good. This is terrible. I've been playing this game for 30 minutes now. <laughs> uh, this is the worst thing ever. The worst idea. You rate this game a 0 out of 10. Boring, lacking content. Not thrilling, not really an experience. <laughs> Actually, Cody, did you check the the ROG gang desks or not? Because I'm pretty sure they're on. I'm pretty sure they're on IKEA's website or something. Or maybe maybe the ROG ones isn't on IKEA. I know there's gaming desks on IKEA, and I know ROG is doing gaming desks.
He's still there, Cody? Oh, lovely. I'm left to my own insanity at this point. Yay. This is amazing. I paid $15 to play this. And the people who paid me to play this aren't even here anymore. Oh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Jason, why weren't you responding to me before? Ah, come on, in. <laughs> I love the floor, Jason, because I saw you open up the Binary of Isaac Rebirth. Is that the new game, or is it not included? No, it's not called the Binary of Isaac anymore, the, the new one that they made, is it? This Rebirth is a DLC for the original or something, isn't it? A oh, rebirth is the base game, really. I thought rebirth was like a DLC or something. Repentance is the DLC, okay. But wasn't there a new game that they released recently that's like Final Vizac or something? I think you're mentioning it and then somebody with my brother put a Steam review or something on it. No? Okay. See, this is why you have two devices to watch chat, because sometimes messages come through on my computer first. Oh, okay, right, that's what you're talking about, okay. Yeah, what I was going to say is, um... <laughs> I've got the, the stream open on my computer, the, the stream page, so I can keep chat and all the analytics open. And then I've got the, on my phone, to make sure that the stream's not going anywhere wrong. Um, but also it's fun that, uh, funny that some of the chats pop up on my computer faster and some of them pop up on my phone faster. Like the Repentance one that you are just talking about popped up on my computer faster and the one just from Jay Clark is just then came up on my phone faster, so. <laughs> and win faster. Mmm. I wish I could. Goes like this. Rebirth is base game. Afterbirth. Uh, K Afterbirth and Afterbirth are DLCs that came out years ago. And Repentance came out two days ago. Okay, right. So they're not making a new game, they're literally just expanding on the original game with DLC. That's basically how it's going. That makes sense. Okay. Is there a reason why they're so slow to release updates in DLC for it? Are they working on something else, or...? Or is it just the way that it is, they're just slowly releasing updates? Uh, yeah, true, they're an indie dev, so they really probably don't have... Well, that many people working on it, but it's such a popular game series. That's the thing. Like they could probably afford um, having more devs. They can have, they have the notoriety and the you know, they're well known now to you know get be a team together. But I guess yeah, some people just like to make games some more like that. And another game that was like, well, it's popular. And only as a small development team is Project Zomboid. That's made by, I believe, two people. And it's like all done in their spare time. Well, another game that was popular was well, Q when Cubod first came out in 2012. It was really, really fun. And it had a lot of hype around it. Because it was it's developed by a husband and a wife. And everyone loved the initial early alpha builds of the game that came out. And then they stopped updating, and it was always happening. They're like, oh, you know, we're just a husband and wife, we've got kids now, we have jobs, and we want to, you know, continue developing the game, because it was a fun game. But they, um, want to continue with their normal lives as well as developing the game. And then I think it released last year, or 2019 maybe? And the actual final release, people didn't find it as fun as the original alpha releases. 
So I'll probably s snag it eventually. I've been playing it for RPGs lately. Fair enough. Yeah, I've got a ton of RPGs to play as well. So many of them. But I just can't focus on playing a single RPG anymore because there's so many things. Like, I haven't finished Final Fantasy 15. I haven't finished um, Cyberpunk. I haven't finished. Um, yeah, I haven't finished Final Fantasy 15. I haven't finished Cyberpunk. I haven't finished Final Fantasy 13. I haven't finished. That's another one I haven't finished. I haven't, believe it or not, I haven't finished all the dra Blue Dragon DLCs either. I haven't finished those. Um, what else? I haven't finished Octopath Travel. And there's probably a couple more that I have that I can't think of that I haven't finished. Am I actually on world record pace? Please remember to beat RPGs. Because I play three of them at once. <laughs> or second, third place. Pace. <sighs> you really, really want me to submit this, don't you? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna get a speed. Was it speedruns.com or speedruns.net or something? That's what I have an account on, so... <sighs> this is awful. Are you actually pulling up someone else's live stream of this game? And checking, like, how what time they're at at certain amounts of pencils? Is that how you're checking what pace I'm going at? As long as I don't have any more, <laughs> as long as I don't screw up any more. <laughs> oh god, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, you made me do this. You know I'm never gonna let you down for this. I'm gonna bring this up. Fourth place at the minimum. How many people have speed run this game? <laughs> this is my question. <laughs> well, how many people have surrendered the best game of 2021? Thank you! <laughs> Three people have speedrun in this category? Oh, lovely. I didn't even know I was doing a speedrunning stream initially. That's a time loss. Jaden! See, the thing is, you actually speedrun a decent game, such as Tetris for the NES. Three people in the 69 pencil drawers. <laughs> this is terrible. This is awful. This is something that I'm going to regret having done. But I'm already this far in. This is more intense than Tetris, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm literally just checking my Snapchat and that on my phone while talking to you and playing this. This is one of those games that you can just easily multitask things while playing. <laughs> Which is horrible that it's actually possible to do this. <sighs> mm, don't really want to play a game like this ever again. <laughs> Oh boy. And the one thing that 
kind of surprises me and actually makes me happy is, see, I'm looking at my analytics right now. In the past 28 days, my videos, which are, you know, I've been like, you know, showing people's recommended and lists and that on the side and videos on their recommended, which are called impressions, my videos have had 48,541 impressions. So a decent amount of people have actually seen my videos popping up. Because I know before I started streaming, I was getting like 20-ish thousand impressions, so that was about two months ago. So, the more content I make, and the more I stream, and the more people who watch, it really does actually all add up. However, the one thing that is disappointing is uh, the impression click-through rate. Only 5.6% of them are actually clicked on. <laughs> I mean, that's better than 0%. 5.6% is something, which isn't terrible, but... You know, you never know. Oh, what is it? Ah, uh, no, 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 time loss! No, 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 come on, in! There we go. Uh, look at those high poly hands and hand animation is on point. <laughs> high poly hands! Mate, literally, this is probably something someone made in like a few hours. <laughs> you need to make better thumbnails to attention. Yeah, I know. I just don't really have any photoshopping skills. I mean, if I had someone to do thumbnails for me, that would help, but I don't feel like I'm willing to go out of my way to find someone that can do that right now. Maybe in future, maybe I want to have like, maybe if I get like two, three K subscribers, I will probably think about it, maybe consider actually spending a couple of dollars on someone, because that would then increase viewership, it would make me look more professional, you know, you never know. Uh, after you are done with this run, end the stream, rename this to Pencil Sharpening Sims Speedrun Time PB. <laughs> sure, why not? Pay someone on Fiverr. That's the thing is, Fiverr is actually decent. You can get decent people or you can get terrible people. That's the problem. Hmm, pay someone on Fiverr to make a thumbnail. Uh. But the thing is, I do have the software myself. I can do it myself. I just don't have the knowledge, the understanding. I don't have the creativeness of doing image editing and work like that. I can't draw. I'm not creative when it comes to that. I can be creative when it comes to ideas for stuff, but I just can never put that on paper, really. Okay, I can think up of something good, but yeah. What thumbnail do you need? I don't know. A thumbnail for every video that I make from now on. That would increase, like, you know, click-through rates and stuff like that, but... I don't know. It's something for future me to consider rather than current me. It's not something that I'm, you know, super... Super, super... Need right now. But it's definitely something that I will need. Shoot me off a message. Nah, all good, Jason. Nah, nah, all good, no worries. It's all good, seriously. I know you can help, but it's just. I would want, like. Because you know how there's, like, those people that have, like, the drawn, like, thumbnails? I'd like something like that rather than, like, a Photoshop kind of thing. Like, Photoshopping comes into every thumbnail, but I want something that's, like, looks like it's drawn. So I like cartoons, I like anime, I like stylistic designs and stuff. Or minimalistic styles even. Stuff. Ah, come on, this is this is the worst. Come on. 
What? It keeps on going green and it's not going in. Okay. There we go. That was awful. I can help. I know you can draw, Jaden. But... That's right, you do. It's just that... I feel like it's all good to have business... Or kind of like... I don't know I want to call it business, at least yet. But to kind of have that kind of a... Uh, friendship for someone that is your friend. There's really, you have like your business friends and your business partners, and your work friends and work partners, and then you have your casual friends. I don't feel comfortable with those two kind of becoming one thing. Only $1,000 for my crayon issues on <laughs> You're doing drawing, what's is doing drawing, Amira does drawing, I don't even know if you know who Amira is. She does drawing as well. Like, I know a couple of people that can draw, but they're my friends and I don't want to have that kind of, you know, that sort of a friendship with someone that is a friend. All you need is a good screen cap of the game, like a random time in the vid, make it the background, use blur. And get the box art or whatever the main focus of it is about. And then a drop shadow. Yeah. It really doesn't take that much effort, I guess. But I know I'll somehow work out how to make a way to screw doing something as simple as that. <laughs> we'll screw up something as simple as that. <laughs> Your face is there. No, I'm not PewDiePie. <laughs> I'm not PewDiePie. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Random dude making a face it looks like. <laughs> oh, you're taking a note out of PewDiePie's book and Soviet Womble making fun of him. The <laughs> generate clicks, yeah. Oh boy, we've got 29 pencils to go. <laughs> That's the thing, is like, see, I know the, the best way to get clicks is clickbait. But the thing with clickbait is I don't want to do that because then people hate you and I don't want people to hate me. Because I hate clickbait videos so much, they infuriate me. Which is why I haven't done them, which is why I don't do them. I could very easily do that. Anyone can easily do that. But then you look like an arsehole and people, people... See that's the thing, people don't remember the good parts about someone, they always remember the worst about someone. So if I ever did blow up one day, you know, and like if I did clickbait and I blew up, people would be like, oh, remember that guy that did shitty clickbait videos and thumbnails and titles all the time? Yeah, that's him now. Like, you, it doesn't make a positive vibe. It just, like, sure, it generates clicks. It generates traffic. But it's negative traffic. And I don't want that. I mean, any traffic is something, but yeah. Just don't have morals, it'll make you popular. I have morals, and I would feel awful without morals. Because unlike some people, I can actually consider myself a decent human being. And there are people out there who will take advantage of others. That no. I'm not that kind of person. <clears throat> Someone paying money while I'm drunk to play a game that I have no idea what it is. Well, two people, <clears throat> Billy and Jason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the 200 IQ trope is clickbait. Oh my god, this is. Oh, come on, go. This is this is bad. My first dual charge. Not like that matters.
That's the thing, is the media. The media is such a big thing, and they're all clickbait. Literally. You look at half of the titles that the news come up with, on newspapers and stories and that, they're clickbait. And that's what people see, they see this really intriguing title and they look at it. Because it grabs the attention. And then people read and they go, what the fuck? That's it, they're right instead. <laughs> But that's the one thing that's like very current. Um, you'll see a lot of um, news and media articles daily, on the daily, talking shit about the current vaccine. Like I saw one pop up actually earlier saying, "Oh, this man from Melbourne, this 40-year-old man from Melbourne, had the vaccine, and now he's got blood clotting." Right? That's that's the pitch, hook, line, and sinker. That's the title. People will click on it. People will pay to read that. And then you get halfway through it, right? Because I knew it was bullshit, and I wanted to see what was bullshit. And they said, and as it goes through, it goes, oh, yeah, you know, this guy had the, the, the vaccine recently. He's 40, and now he's got um, blood clotting. And then you read further in. He had previous health complications, but they don't put that until it's deep in. So they go, oh, we didn't say anything that was wrong. We did the right thing. Yes, but you put a clickbait title. Some people just read the title. That's why so many people freak out about the virus, or the, the virus and the vaccine and all that currently, is because there's so much negative press over it, or negative press titles, not negative, not necessarily negative press, because they do, in the end, yes, they do tell you the truth, but they don't put that as a title, because they know that that's, people will just be like, you know, if people see that, you know, 40-year-old guy got blood clotting because of previous health complications, they're not going to click that. They're going to click something that's current. They're going to click on something that makes them go, oh no. So, sorry. That's just my mini rant <laughs> about the media and news and clickbait and, yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness. The RNG on this, because the thing is, it rarely moves the pencil around when you go to do that. I wonder if there's anyone that's actually tried to cheat in speedrunning this game. Is it, you know, there's the cheats in basically every speedrunning community for games. You know, the people that will make the chopped up clips, the people that will do the, um, you know, speeding up the game. You'll see people like, the biggest one for the longest time was the original GTA games like San Andreas, in GTA 3 in Vice City. Someone in Vice City, what they did is they went into the game's config file and they modified the initial acceleration of a, a few vehicles. And the thing that, you know, got them caught out um, was, well, the tyre smoke. Every time they got in a car and they launched off, there was tyre smoke, which normally doesn't happen. So. On personal best pace, yeah. Who knew there'd be RNG in, the, in a game about sharpening pencils? There we go. And of course I'm on PB pace. It's the only time I've ever played this game. This is terrible. Got fourteen more. <laughs> I don't know how I've made this interesting for myself so far. This has been the worst thing. Twenty four, what did I say? Did I say twenty five? We said 25, I meant 24. I said 14, whoops. Come on, no, no it clicked out the window again. The game window doesn't fill the whole monitor. This is annoying, there's no way to resize it either.
I guess if you had a 720p monitor, it wouldn't be that bad. Probably even worse if I tried this at my mum's then. Because that's a huge 1440p ultra wide monitor. I would be clicking out of the window all the time. <laughs> it's just annoying. Games like this literally give you no configuration. Which is the worst. Because a PC game is a nightmare without configuration. It's not like a console. A console, you just plug, it, it, it's, it's the same thing for everyone. When it comes to a PC, you need configuration, you need options, you need the ability to change things because no two PCs, no two setups are the same. Unlike console, it's, a, it's an Xbox or a PlayStation or whatever, a TV and a controller. PC people have different aspect ratios, they have different hardware, they have different peripherals. Like, like imagine a PC game nowadays with no mouse sensitivity adjustment. Like, it, that'd be unheard of. <laughs> oh, I'm cringing at myself at this point. This is terrible. What have you reduced me to, Jason? You've brought me to my wit's end. Actually, Jason, what's 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 the three world record times? If you can find them, what's the first, second, and third place? <laughs> Alright. My dad probably does walk here, he's like, what the fuck am I doing? Jason, why'd you make me do this? This is terrible. Mm. Hope, you, hope your, your money was well worth it, because this is the only time you're ever going to see me play this game. This is the only time I can think I'm going to be playing this game. If I don't plan on playing it then again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, actually, Jason, if you can, can you can you find the times for first, second, and third? So I can just kind of have an idea of what I've got to aim for. Oh, there we go. Hour 18 minutes, 22 seconds. Hour 19 minutes, 59 seconds. Hour 22. I think I can beat third place. I think I can beat that third place. Just gonna get a few more lucky, you know, times where I'm putting the pencil back in the sharpener. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, luck like that. Oh boy, we've we've hit the 1 hour mark. Unbelievably. broken record is but it's true oh my goodness the RNG the luck and we've hit 50 <laughs> if I actually get the world record of this mate I'm actually gonna be blown away 
<laughs> what do you have a world record in? Oh, I've got a world record in pencil sharpening simulator. And how many pencils did you sharpen? I sharpened 69 pencils. Uh, Jesus. Oh, oh no! Oh, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why is this a thing? Why does this exist? Imagine getting a world record the first time you play a game. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a world record. There's no way I'm getting a world record. Would be nice. That's something to flex on. Oh, what are you? I've got a world record in speedrunning. Oh, where'd you play? Pencil sharpening simulator. Up in sixty nine pencils. <sighs> it's still sad that this exists. Is it still sad that someone went to the effort to make this game? And it's sad that people went to the effort to speedrun this game. I did not stream this game willingly. Really, I I was literally just like borderline going, I really do not want to play this game. I really do not want to stream this game. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And look at where I am doing it. I was literally contemplating streaming this big time. Oh my goodness, this is grueling, how slow it is. Oh no, oh no, we've got bad RNG. Our luck finally has fallen out of our favour! What? There we go! I still cannot believe I'm doing this. You better be bloody grateful that I'm doing this, Jason. Hope you're happy. Mm. After that last mess up, I really don't think I'm going to get a world record anymore. Oh, you'll be on there somewhere, some some position on the on the speed running board, but <laughs> for God's sake. Should I put bloody if I knew I was gonna speedrun this game, I would have put speedrunning as one of the tags. At least it would have possibly brought more people to the stream. <laughs> as terrible of a game it is to speedrun or stream or even play. Would have been something. Oh, damn it.
Hope you're enjoying your buying of Isaac. I'm stuck here playing this. Just why? I really regret agreeing to this. There we go. I'm literally just looking through Discord chats and that on my phone at this point. I'm literally trying to find anything to entertain me. Anything. Something. Please. Is there anyone? There's no chats really going on. You even pinged nobody to watch. Why? <sighs> this is terrible. So close yet so far. <laughs> well, those speed runs. Let's see. You did the the bloody speed run for um the stupid speed runs for like like Family Guy in show and stuff like that. What even made you want to do those again? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Can't believe I'm here doing something as dumb as this. Clout? Yeah. I guess so. Not like anyone's gonna subscribe to me for playing this. Yeah, 12 pencils left to go. <laughs> oh, 12 pencils left to go, that plays intense music. Uh, God damn it, Jason. <laughs> you got enough pogs? Hey, at least you can use pog on YouTube, I don't know about Twitch. Last I heard... Pog was banned on Twitch or something. Or well, they changed it heavily or something. I'm not entirely sure about it. Or was the whole Pog champ itself or something banned? I'm not too sure. Come on. There we go. No, no, come on. Because wasn't he like a streamer on Twitch and he got banned off of Twitch or something? And then they removed like him from the platform in terms of like the emotes or... Because I know there's quite a long story to that. That's the thing. I just don't know really anything about it. Also, Jason, uh, I've decided to pull up my Nightbot page before this stream. Hello, Illusion. Welcome to the most unwilling stream that I have done ever. <sighs> Shh. 
stream that I really, really, I was honestly debating if I should even play it. Big time. But I am someone that really upholds promises. <sighs> Unfortunately, it has led to me being stuck in this situation. No, 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 come on! The lead broke in that, the lead broke in that pencil, but grab a new one. <laughs> On TV. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, before, what I was gonna say, Jace, is before this stream, Bosco was the top chatter for all my streams. Now you are! Congrats! You are my top chatter for the past week. The only problem is the website doesn't work that well on mobile functions. It's not great. Oh boy, no, that's not what I wanted to open. Damn, congrats, Doodle. <laughs> I'm just trying to find anything to talk about. I've been going for so long. <laughs> We are nine pencils away from the end of this. Make it go faster. <laughs> oh. Literally, like the past five ten minutes, I've been checking Discord. I've been going to stuff. I'm checking stuff. Wait, what the fuck? One hour and twenty minutes from now. I didn't realize you're going. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. It's painful. It. I. My. My. My arm is. Act my hand. My. Is actually physically in pain from holding left click and not moving really. It's genuine pain at this point. But I was paid to play this, so you know. Can't let that down. Imagine you get to the end of the game. Oh mate. Nah ha ha. Nah 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 ah. If it crashes. I mean I wasn't intentionally originally speedrunning this anyway. I was just like I started playing and then jump cat cat jump cat kick over here, Jason was just like, oh yeah, you should speedrun, I was like, you want me to speedrun this? You want me to speedrun this? And well, I've done it. Although it is probably the worst content I have ever made, or decided to make. Yeah. Here we are. Sharpening pencils. And I have regretted this decision from the moment I said I would do it. No one would be able to get me to do this game unless I got bored and do it unwillingly. And this is gold. <laughs> Jesus. I was paid fifteen dollars to play this. I get paid more than that an hour at work. <laughs> so you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm still in. I'm still in high spirits, I guess. <laughs> I'm not crying over it. I'm not depressed over. It. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> that I agreed to do this. Feel guy feel bad for the guy who did this that did a thousand pencils. Fifteen dollars mate, you got scanned I know, right? But the, the the major problem about it is I was I wasn't sober at the time that I agreed to do it. If I was sober I put it would have checked the game first. 
Bruno, they could have got, said, oh, you should play Sexbot Simulator 2019 or some bullshit. And I think I would have at least had the decency to actually go, no, that doesn't sound right. But. <laughs> <laughs> How much did that guy get paid? I don't know. But I saw it was like seven hours something that stream that I saw. Oh. Took him seven, eight hours, some guy to sharpen a thousand pencils. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't know how you can actually do this for that long. You'd have to be doing what I'm doing, like playing the game and then like doing stuff on your phone on the side. I'm literally looking at Discord on my phone right now. Looked up at the perfect time. Now to go back to checking Discord. <laughs> you should do a stream highlights of this. Uh, I would fall asleep watching this back. And what is there highlights to make? What 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 is there? What what highlights is there in this? Nothing of this is a highlight. It's literally a green pencil spinning one way or another, dropping shavings and shrinking. There's nothing entertaining about this. Apart from the music I've got. Which is also no copyright, which is nice. So I don't have to have any issues with the video afterwards. Hmm. Complaining is funny. Oh, for God's sake, Jason. Oh! I mean, that's the entire stream then at that point is me complaining. Isn't it? No, we're not going for world record at this point. Getting 69 pencils and you're moaning about how painful your life is for like 10 minutes. I hope one video great content. I think the funny moments, I don't know. pencils. We're not going to get third place at this rate. My in wait, damn my English in that last comment left for a whole day apparently. <laughs> I assume English isn't your first language then? We're so close. This is getting intense now. Oh, 
I don't use my main language limit, I just like typing, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That happens to me sometimes as well. Fourth place, here we go. <laughs> God's sake. Oh shit, this is the last pencil, isn't it? Like women, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here's the time. Quick, someone donate 20 bucks in my shopper. No, I'm not. No, that's it. Oh, my hand is in pain. Oh, oh, there it is. Now, 23 minutes and 25.97 seconds. This is awful. <sighs> How you got me to do this, I don't know. And I'm quite sure you are never ever going to get me to do this again. No, no, I'm sorry, my hand is in too much pain. And I've got to have dinner soon. It's literally... No. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> Best stream you ever watched? Oh yeah, thanks man. <laughs> Why? Why did I do this? Why did I come this far? I'm just... I <sighs> never thought I'd enjoy so much in Sharpie Kansas. <sighs> well... I guess... No, you're not making a thumbnail. That's it. I've done it. We're done. We're done. <sighs> well, I really, really have to thank everyone that actually came out to watch this because this has been terrible. This has been awful. This has been something that why, just why, literally. Well, thank you everyone who did come to watch the stream. Please like if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already. Because I will do more streams in the future that are better content than this. And I'll see you there, hopefully. So, bye.